Hi everyone and welcome to Udo Accounting by Cloudac. Today we are going to look at how you can reconcile your petty cash accounts. Please note that petty cash accounts don't really have a statement. So how can you reconcile these accounts without having a statement for them? So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to spend from your petty cash account. So here we have our cash one account. So let me do some expenditure from here. So I'm going to do some vendor payment. I'll click that. Then I'll select uh, Abigail Peterson. I want to pay them $3,000 in the memo for travel. Then as you can see here, my journal is cash one. So I'm going to confirm the payment. I'll validate that. Go back to the dashboard. Now you can see the account is out by an extra $3,000. So let me another, do another payment from this module here. Can go to vendors as well, make payment. I say new and I say I pay AK Foster $4,000 for Visa. Then here I'll choose my cash one. Then again, I confirm and validate. Go back to my dashboard and there you can see $7,000 out if I click on that, you'll see that the breakdown is right there. So assuming we receive some money also into that account. So let me come here, customer payment. Let's receive some money from Amy Watson, $20,000. Sale of goods. Cash one, I confirm that and I validate. Go to my dashboard. As you can see, I'm now positive 13,000. If you click there, again, you'll be able to see the breakdown, money out, money out, money in. Go back to my dashboard. Now, before I do anything else, I'll rather show you the reconciliation report. So as you can see here, I have outstanding receipts of 20,000. Remember, this is just a cash book entry, but it, you need to confirm it. So normally, you'll be able to have you know, a statement showing the money came in. But now you have your cash in your drawer. So it's a matter of counting it and checking it's there. So now I want to reconcile. Rather than recreating a statement whereby I'll be able to, you know, reconcile one by one. So I'm just going to do one transaction and I'll be able to reconcile that. Either way, you can still decide to recreate a statement, but it can be more lengthy. So I'm going to take this 13,000 and I'm going to plug it in as a one statement line. So this is important, you do it at the end of every day. So I'm going to click here, cash. And then I'm going to click new. And then I'm not going to put any partner there because it's from many partners. I'll put my 13,000 positive there. Sorry, 13,000. Then here, I can put transactions for the day. Then I'm going to add and close. And then I'm going to hover around it and click that so that it plugs into the statement. As you can see, my opening balance was negative 5,000. Now my ending balance will be 8,000 after I top up with 13,000. Then I hit save. And then now I need to reconcile this. So I'll click on that and I'll come here and I'll find my transactions right there. So as you can see, it's that transaction and that one and that one. The moment they all match, this validate button pops up and I hit validate and I'm done. So I go back to my dashboard, go to my cash account, you see, now I have a balance positive 8,000. If I hit that, click reconcile, you now see there are no outstanding payments and there are no outstanding receipts. So it's a that you don't have to recreate a statement for the petty cash and that's how Udo make life easier. Thank you.